And I'm going to give you six words that you can write down, and you'll be able to remember these things. And just simply, as you, you say, well, I don't, I've never really read, studied the Bible or read the Bible much. I don't know where to start. First, pray. So you find your place that you sit down where you study, and you, you just sit down, and you say, or you pick a place, and maybe you've never done this before, and you say, you start like that, prayer, something like this. God, I'm about to open your word. I want to learn from you. I want to see my life changed. So meet me by your spirit and teach me. Make me a different person because I've been in your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm not talking about a two-hour prayer thing. I'm talking about just asking God to teach you, to speak to you. Start there. Before you even open the Bible, God help me, God teach me. Second thing, read it. So there, I've got my chapter I'm going to read, or two chapters, whatever you're going to be reading. You read the passage, asking God to speak to your heart. Number three, you study, which means you can use some study notes from your, from your study Bible, or you can use a commentary, or you can do some, some diff, different notes. Kind of go in deeper and say, what's going on behind the scenes? So you're reading the passage again, but this time you're kind of being more reflective. You're trying to get historical background, setting, more of the storyline there. And then apply. So what? So okay, God, so what? What difference does this make in my life today? Every day when I open the Bible, there's something that God gives me as a so what. Something in my attitude, something, in, something new to do, a way to love, a way to care, a person to communicate with in some way, to apologize to or to check in with. If I just ask the Lord to speak, and I encourage you to do that and, and have some action, be a doer of the word, and then pray again. So before you're done, say, okay, God, this has been great to be in your word. Thank you for what you've taught me. Give me the strength to live it out, to remember it, so I don't just kind of walk away and go, I'm done for the day. And Lord, in some way, make me come, become more like Jesus because I've been in your word. And then tell someone, share something you learned. If you do those six, six things in the course of a day, it will propel, I mean, that is a momentum booster. And I think that one of the strongest ways to grow your faith and become more like Jesus is to know his word, to love his word, and to live it out. So here's three questions you can ask yourself periodically to see how you're doing in this area of your life. Questions to help me discern if I'm gaining spiritual momentum in my relationship with Jesus when it comes to knowing, loving, and following God's word. Now watch how simple these questions are. Do I love the Bible more today than I, do, than I did six months ago? And because if you're getting into this word, you'll, you, you don't worship it. You only worship Jesus, but you can love his truth. So am I loving God's word? Do I, get, do I get excited to dig into it and let him speak to me? Second question, do I know more scripture than I did six months ago? Do I just know more? Do I understand more of what God's word says? Because when I know it, it allows me to then be able to live it. And then third, is my life different today than it was six months ago? Because I'm reading and following the teaching of the Bible. And how have I changed? You, you want to see your spiritual life, if you're a follower of Jesus or if you become a Christian, you want to see your spiritual life be propelled forward. You'd be walking down the road, walking with Jesus, growing in his word, making time for it, studying it, digging in, praying about it, living it out, sharing it. And you get to a certain point where you stop and you look back over the last two months and three months and six months. And you say, man, I'm not the same. I'm loving people in a different way. I'm thinking about people in a different way. I know more of God's love and God's grace. I'm sharing his love with others more freely. And you say, that's, that's momentum. It's not that I've arrived. I don't think we arrive till we see Jesus face to face. But I think he takes delight, and we should too, when we're moving forward. And your pace is going to be different than mine. If you, it's going to look different than me. But if you're walking towards Jesus, growing in his word, loving it, studying it, following it, man, that will propel you forward, whether you're 5 or 95. And that's what God wants for you, to be growing into the, to, into the maturity, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Jesus. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Amen?